Indeed so. If you are a believer in Christ Jesus, then you've been set free from all rituals. Amen. Indeed you have freedom from rituals. And you probably noticed by now that I'm focusing a lot in the epistles written by Paul, called the Pauline epistles. And once such epistles or letters written to the Galatian church clearly sets this tone. In Galatians chapter 4, Paul writing here says in from verse 8, Before you Gentiles knew God, you were slave to so-called gods that didn't even exist. So now that you know God, or should I say, now that you know who that God knows you, why do you want to go back again and become once more slaves and, and to the weaknesses and useless spiritual principles of this world? How true is that, friends? When you have Christ living inside of you through the Holy Spirit, you have total freedom. That's right. Now, it's not a freedom that you can choose what you want to do. Obviously, obviously there's a righteous path that you are following. And it's totally led by the Holy Spirit. And obviously, God's Word as your base. Now, friends, it's different from the law that was given to the Jews. And, and the Bible speaks and Paul speaks about that a lot in his letters, in, his, in the epistles about being set free from the curse of the law which could not save us and give us life but condemned us. Now that's a whole new topic. But what I'm, the point I'm making here is that you don't need to become religious or you need to get rid of your religiousness. When you are a born again Christian, friends, and when the Spirit of God is living and you've been baptized with the Holy Ghost, verse 10 of that chapter 4 in Galatians reads, you are, you are trying to earn favor with God by observing certain days or months or seasons or years. I fear for you, Paul writes. Perhaps all my hard work with you was for nothing. Dear brothers and sisters, verse 12, I plead with you to live as I do in freedom from these things. Hallelujah. For I have become like you Gentiles, free from those laws. Friends, sacrificing animals, paying this and observing that does not work with God. Those are just rituals and that had no value in your life. I'm not talking about living an haphazard lifestyle or living in an haphazard lifestyle. No, friends. I'm talking about being set free from rituals and religiousness. God wants a relationship with you. And that's what the point is. When the Holy Spirit lives in you, you become full of that joy and the Spirit of God becomes evident in your life. What about you today, friends? Are you bound by religiousness? Are those rituals of the past starting to manifest again in your lives? No, friends. God wants to, you to get rid of all those things. Live daily by just speaking to Him, walking with Him, enjoying that freedom mighty god and heavenly father daddy once again we come in no other name but of your son jesus christ help us to be set free dad from the curse of the law from those rituals and religious acts that think that we think will bring us into eternal life dad the only way is through your son jesus christ being born again and having a relationship with you through the working of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Dad, I pray today all those rituals and acts of religiousness will be set free from. 
because whom the Son sets free, and Jesus has set us free by dying on the cross, rising up again on the third day. Father is free indeed. And today we appropriate that power, that victory, that authority that Jesus achieved at his death, burial, and resurrection. And we walk in that newness. We live daily in that freedom. In Jesus' name. Well, friends, until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels praying that you remain touched and changed in Jesus' mighty name. Stay blessed.